you got it with you guys from China. Show well, Big Dog back with another DC TV talk. Tonight we got Arrow Reset Season 8, Episode 6, and we got The Flash uh, Season 6, Episode. I don't know, I just know the title of the episode with the last temptation for of Barry Allen. I think I'm, it's gonna be like a time step and a like description to let you know what time the Flash uh, review starts. Because first I'm gonna go with Arrow, because if I'm being honest, I think that was the the better episode. Because me for one, I'm I'm a fan of like the whole Groundhog Day, uh, uh, Edge of Tomorrow, um, uh, Happy Death Day, like the whole you know you you have to relive the day over you have to keep dying and keep reliving the day i'm a fan of those type of movies so i knew once the, it happened in this episode i'm like oh yeah i know i'm in, i'm enjoy this episode also he did something that most of them don't it's like soon as it happened the first time you're like okay i'm in a time loop so let me just go ahead and know i know what i'm gonna do i know how to get out of this situation but it wasn't necessarily even the situation he thinking that like hey he has to a mission to uh to, to do is like I have to save Quinn, I have to save Quinn. He had to come to the realization that oh dude, it's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? It's Thanos. <laughs> like, you can't stop it. Like that's something you have to learn. And that's something that uh, uh the monitor was trying to get through his head because like dude you're Qu you're Quentin. I'm you trying to save me. I know I can't do it. And you know you like it's just you have to just let that go and just like uh, try to save the the uh, everyone else. Like you know, you you're not gonna make it out of this. Like, you keep trying to fight against me, and we both trying to work towards the same thing. Like, and that's kind of what the advice he got from Quinn. And I just, just got to mention that it was great seeing him back in uh, in, in the show after him dying, which I always thought he was one of the best characters. He had his times where like he would get on your nerves and gotta piss you off, but like it was still great seeing it. It was great seeing everybody come back. Can't wait to see how they what they do with Felicity because I know they going to have oh, to me, come on now. Season eight, last season. It's gonna be big. I know I hope they do something special with her. But like yeah, it's just like that whole feeling. And I I like the fact that it was Laurel and Oliver because one Laurel thought it was a punishment. But it's like, no, like, I'm giving you an opportunity to say you're about them. You won't see him again. He's dead in both worlds. But, like, you need the time. You just really got to get a chance to, like, say goodbye. And so I'm rewarding you for not turning on Oliver. I mean, betraying him. Because I thought I would have failed that test. Well, no, actually, I probably, I probably would have passed that because loyalty is probably one of the biggest things for me. But, like, I thought he actually wanted her to, wanted her to betray him. But, like, come find out, no. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I guess he's saying it was a test to like see if she's actually changed. Even though I kind of feel like he kind of knew what she was going to do and knew this was going to happen regardless. But like she just came to the realization, well, not the realization, she just accepted the fact that like, hey, I'm tired of seeing you die, but like I have to accept it. Like this this is what it is. And she told Oliver, I can't do it no more. I've seen him die enough. But Oliver just stuck in his own mind, just how he's been the entire time. Like, no, I have to save this. I have to try to live for my family. And the thing he's keep worrying, he's worrying about. I have to live. I have to try to find, uh, like, go behind uh, the monitor and see how I can survive this thing. It's like, no, dude, I've given you time with your kids. You're not even, you're not even paying attention to that. That's a reason I brought them back to you. I didn't just do it for the hell of it. No, I, I can give you time with them so they can help you try to accomplish what I need you to do. Uh, and it made a lot of sense. And like I said, the format of the episode really worked in his favor um, for what it was trying to accomplish. And I think the episode did accomplish that. Uh, this is a great season of Arrow. I just got to say, this is a great season. I like, and I like where it finished off at. Uh, cause, because we, we pretty much get the sense that like, Lila is playing the role of Harbinger. If you haven't read The Crisis on Infinite, Crisis on Infinite Earths comic. That's pretty much who she, the role she's playing. Granted, I haven't finished it yet, so I don't know exactly the full role of that. But we, uh, we, we, I get to it before December eighth when the, when the uh, crossover starts today. What the twenty fifth, sixth, something like that. Either way, go. I know I get to it before then, and I'm just trying to like throw my little knowledge out of like the first three 
issues, you know what I'm saying? So I know what role she's playing. Also, um, on to The Flash, which was hmm, kind of suspect in, 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 in certain ways. Because we, the episode, the last episode ended with uh, Ramsey and uh, Rob fight, which is okay, kind of cool. And then it was them. This episode started continuing off there, and you kind of see some stuff. And Ramsey ends up hitting it with like some blood, and then taking some blood from him. And, and Ralph has to get healed by the Flash. I don't know if Ramsey knew ahead of time that Barry was the Flash or what, because how would he know to leave something in Ralph that would get into Barry? Or well, maybe he just thought. It doesn't, nah, maybe it didn't need to know it was Barry. He just needed to know it was the Flash. And the Flash can hear some broke. How much information does he know about the Flash? That's my only kind of thing. I'm kind of skeptic, skeptical about this episode. I'm like, was that his plan to like get control of the Flash? And how did he know it, that was going to be how they did it? They didn't have any other way of doing it. It's just, it's just, it was just weird. Okay, yeah. And also... <laughs> The fact that, like, hey, we can do a blood transfusion and, like, you, you, he can temporarily use your super healing. Come on now. I'm just saying, uh, I ain't just knocking it. I'm just saying, like, come on now. That's a little bit of, seeing like a little bit of plot on it, you know what I'm saying? He asked me. But nonetheless, he, he did infect Barry and got in his mind. And Barry's, the speed force took the form of Barry's mother which has to fight off Ramsey, and that was a whole thing. At the end of the episode, he still got possessed. How did he still get possessed? I thought he won. You know how he got possessed? Because the plot needed him to get possessed. I, it, this, I've liked this season quite a bit so far, but Ramsey just haven't came off as a super great villain so far, and the fact that he's not really a villain and, and you kind of get like, hey, he kind of wants to save everybody from death. He, well, he, to me, he just doesn't want anybody to die. It's like, so he, he feel like if a person chooses death, then they giving up on life. And in, in, in certain regards, that kind of is like what it is. But it's like, no, dude, it's just, I don't want to live forever. <laughs> That's what he wants everybody to do. Also, just kind of see, don't know how even it, with the blood work, the blood stuff, he survives crisis because that I'm so I don't like he, the body literally evaporates into nothing. Like blood can evaporate too. Like so I don't know I don't I, I don't know what's his whole plan. And I'm like nah, bro. It doesn't matter what you do. Barry's dead. Okay, he's dead. I know you want him to live, and now he has the flash under his control. How is he gonna get him? back to normal, that is why I'm glossed at. Granted, we're probably going to see it next episode because this is uh, part one of a two-part thing before the crisis. So, this is Barry's last like mission before the crisis. So, I'm, blood, I'm, I'm guessing that blood work is the first half of the season villain, and I wonder what the second half of the season will be like because I doubt they're going to do the entire second half of the season without a flash. Granted, he probably going to die in crisis because, like, that is the big thing. Granted, he probably going to come back in some way, form, or fashion because that's just, to be honest, you have to have the flash in the flash show. And we know Wally's probably not coming back. Um, He's probably, Wally probably not even being in, in crisis. We just been honest. So it's kind of weird to, to, to navigate what things it's going to go. You know, it's. Listen, right now, we all kind of a little bit lost where what, what they're going with this. Because, like I said, Ramsey, he got good intentions. It's just like, dude, maybe if you didn't look so damn creepy. And like you didn't turn everybody's teeth black and eyes black. Maybe people will listen to you. There are some people who like, hey, I don't want to die. Can you save me? Cool, holla at them. But everybody? And technically they probably gonna be under your control. And like also they look kind of weird. Like, like dude, chill. Like it's it's a better way 
I'm like, hey, do I have to live like that? I'm like, nah, bro. I just, I just go here and die. I'm going die You know what I'm saying? It's just weird how Ramsey thinking of like, oh, this is this is definitely a good idea. Mm. Like, look in the mirror lately, bro. Yeah, it's not what you think it is. Um. Also, Allegra pretty much comes out. Listen, I thought Allegra was going to spend this entire episode just beating around the bush with Iris. But she finally just came right out and said, hey, man, your husband's the Flash. I'm like, thank you. Because I was getting tired of her just, like, throwing, like, the little subtle hints and stuff like that. No, just come out and say it. I be I hate when stuff like that happens in shows and they just, like, keep it going for, like, episodes and episodes. And then it'll come out and then it not even be a thing. Like, just let it be a thing now so we can move forward with this. And, you know, uh... Also, Nash found where Nobu said, which, don't even ask me about that if I'm just being honest. I just had to mention it because I don't want people to say I didn't bring it up. But I have no freaking idea what that even means. I'm, Nobu can see everything, so I know he knows what he's doing. So it's, he's technically just doing exactly what Nobu probably would want him to do anyway. Insight, insight. <laughs> but you guys, let me know what you thought about these episodes down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.